So in this example, I'm going to take a basic table that's a bit like a default table that you get in PowerPoint. And by adding some images, we're going to make it more engaging and nicer to look at with something like this. So firstly, before we bring in the photos, we're just going to do a few tweaks to the table to improve the look of this and the formatting. So I'm going to firstly make all the font the Montserrat font that we've been using because that looks a bit nicer than the Calibre. I'm going to make the title a lighter variation and grey and a little smaller. Now I'm going to go in and edit the table. So the first thing we'll do is I'll stretch this table up so it fits a bit better. This part here I don't think this actually needs any colour. So I'm just going to go to the home. I'm going to go to shape fill, say no fill on this. And then I'm also going to select all of this and make this Montserrat. I'm going to make this grey. I'm now going to turn off all the borders because I think it looks better without borders in this case. So I'll select the table. I'll go to Table Design. The borders drop down and then choose No Border. And I think that's already looking better. So I'm just going to fill this in one colour for now. I'm going to make all the text in this section white. And I'm also going to put borders just on these sections here. I'm going to make sure that the border is white and one pixel. There we go, so it's looking a bit closer already. There are just a couple more things we're going to do and then we'll bring in the photos. Now we can select these three columns and go to Layout and choose Distribute Columns. That will make them all the same size and the same width. Then we'll just resize up the table slightly and I'll pull the top down slightly so that will allow us to put the photos above it. And you can see it's getting already pretty close to the final look. We can go and get the images, go to insert pictures, this device. And we'll select three images that we're going to use on this table. We'll just roughly size these down. So as long as they're, this one needs to be slightly bigger, you can see. I would probably align these so that the wheels are on the same position at the bottom and then make sure they're roughly the correct sizes in comparison with each other. Now we can go to this image and click on it. We can go to picture format. We can go to rotate. And we can flip it horizontally. And this just means it's consistent with the other images and is easier on the eye for the viewer. Finally, we could select this column here. Go to shape fill, then go to the eyedropper tool and take one of the colours from the actual car. You can see it says RGB in the number in red. So if we take that, that's already quite clearly about this car now and it's a lot easier to understand when you're viewing it. We can do the same with this column. Just get this brownie colour in here and then we'll get a blue colour for the final column here. each time using the eyedropper tool. So this is a nice clear way of showing easily the comparisons between these cars and it's very obvious compared to how we started as to which one's about which car. And just to finish off, it might be quite nice we select the table here, we go to table design and we'll select something like a six point line, make sure it's white then we'll draw a line down here. This will just help separate the columns and make it even easier to understand. Now we'll pick up everything 
and move it roughly to the right place. And the only other thing I'd probably do here is make this text bold. And there's our finished slide. You can see it's come a long way since the beginning default slide with just a few simple tweaks. That's what we started with and this is what we've ended up with. See the power of just using some suitable images and making some small design tweaks can improve a slide considerably. I'll just retake that last sentence. Can improve the slide considerably.